Hello everyone, welcome to our online mathematical classes, I Shilpa Patro, Department of Mathematics, Narajol Raj College. So today we study about metric space. So first of all we define what is the definition of metric space and what are the motivations behind to define metric space. So we all know about the concept of distance between two points. If we take two points say P and Q, then the distance PQ is always greater equal to 0. The distance is 0 if and only if the two points coincide. And the distance from P to Q that is PQ and the distance from Q to P that is QP both are same. If we take another point say R then we know that the sum of two sides of a triangle is always greater equal to third side that is PR plus RQ is greater equal to PQ. In 1906, French mathematician Fresset generalized this notion of distance concept for points to any arbitrary non-empty set by assuming three intuitively accepted concepts as axiom and he formally defined metric space. So begin with definition. Let x be a non-empty set. Let x be any arbitrary non-empty set. Let d be a mapping from x cross x to R, set of all real numbers. If D has the following properties, first property is D of x, y greater equal to 0 for all x, y belongs to x. This is non-negative property. This is non-negative property. Second is <coughs> D of x, y, the distance of x, y equal to 0 if and only if x equal to y. This is identity. Third is D of x, y equal to d of yx. This is symmetric property. And fourth condition is d of xy less equal to d x z plus d of z y for all x y z belongs to capital X. This is triangle inequality. If the mapping D satisfies this four condition, then we say that D is a metric on X, metric or distance function on X and the pair XD that is the non-empty set X and the metric D 
together we call metric space <coughs> next we define some examples of metric spaces so if we take x equal to set of all real numbers and d is defined by x cross x2 r plus by d of xy equal to mod of x minus y then we show that d satisfies the previously four axioms first property is we know mod of x minus y is always greater equal to 0 that is d x y greater equal to 0 second condition is d x y equal to 0 if and only if mod of x minus y equal to 0 this implies that x equal to y third condition is d x y equal to mod of x minus y this is equal to y minus of x that is equal to d of y x this is symmetric property fourth condition is d of x y equal to by definition this is mod of x minus y now we introduce z this and which implies that x minus of z plus mod of z minus y <coughs> as mod of a plus b is less equal to mod a plus mod b so we have mod of x minus z equal to d x z plus d z y that is d satisfies a four condition so d is a metric on r we called this metric as usual or standard metric usual or standard metric on r <clears throat> next example is <clears throat> Example 2. Let x equal to R2 and D the metric is defined by D of xy equal to D of x1 x2 y means y1 as x or y are elements of r2 and r2 element r2 real number and pair so y1 y2 we define this as x1 minus y1 x1 minus y1 square plus x2 minus y2 that is square whole root over where x equal to x1 x2 and y equal to y1 y2 are two elements of r2 so next we show that D satisfies the four properties. So first property is D of XY is 
get are equal to 0 because this is something squared this is positive this is also positive sum of two positive number is positive and the root over is also positive so by definition d of xy get are equal to 0 next is d of xy equal to 0 this implies that d of xy means this quantity is 0 so this implies that this is 0 so x1 minus y1 that is square plus x2 minus y2 that is square is 0 sum of two real numbers are 0 that's mean both these quantities must be 0 so x1 minus 1 equal to 0 and x2 minus y2 equal to 0 so this implies that x1 equal to y1 and x2 equal to y2 that is x equal to y conversely we say that if x equal to y then this component are same this implies that this 0 and this 0 and that is x minus y equal to 0 so second condition is satisfied third condition is d of x y that is equal to x1 minus y1 that is square plus x2 minus y2 that is square whole root over so this is equal to x1 minus y1 is equal to y1 minus x1 that is square plus y2 minus x2 square that root over so this is equal to d of y x <coughs> now we show the fourth condition that is triangle inequality to show d of x y this is less equal to d of x z plus d of z y where x equal to x1 x2 are elements of r2 y equal to y1 y2 z equal to z1 z2 so we let a1 equal to x1 minus z1 a2 equal to x2 minus z2 b1 equal to z1 minus y1 and b2 equal to z2 minus y2 then d of x y becomes a1 plus b1 the square plus a2 plus b2 square the root so we read write this way a k plus b k that is square where k varies from 1 to 2 whole under root over and d of exit equal to a 1 square plus a 2 that is square whole to the power 1 by 2 that is equal to summation over a k square k equal to 1 to 2 whole under root over and d of z y equal to b 1 square plus b 2 thar square under root over that is equal to summation over b k square k 
k varies from 1 to 2 whole root over of 1 to 2 to show that we show that d of x y that is less equal to d x z plus d z y so that is to show summation over a k plus b k that is square k varies from 1 to 2 whole root over of this quantity this is less equal to summation over a k square k equal to 1 to 2 whole root over of half plus summation over b k square k varies from 1 to 2 whole to the power 1 by 2. Now we square both sides. We get squaring both sides we get squaring both sides we get summation a k plus b k whole square k varies from 1 to 2. This is less equal to summation over a k square k equal to 1 to 2 whole to the power half plus summation over b k square k equal to 1 to 2 whole to the power half whole square. So if we calculate this quantity we get a square a plus b square that is a k square plus 2 times a k b k plus b k square. So these two quantities are getting cancelled out we get that a k b k that is k equal to 1 to 2 this is less equal to summation over a k square k equal to 1 to 2 whole to the power half summation over b k square k equal to 1 to 2 whole to the power 1 by 2 now, which is cosi cosi sohar's inequality which is cosi so sohar's inequality So, D satisfies the four properties. So, D is a metric on, on R2. We say that D is Euclidean metric or we say that D is Euclidean metric on R2. So next example for if we take x equal to r to the power n and d is defined by d from x cross x to r plus by d of x y equal to d of x1 x2 x of n and y is y1 y2 dot dot y of n we define like similar way that x1 minus y1 square <coughs> plus x2 minus y2 that is square dot 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 xn minus yn that is square whole to the power 1 by 2 where x are elements of r to the power n so x has n component x1 x2 xn y equal to y1 y2 y of n so we can similarly check that d satisfies the four properties so d is a metric on r to the power n <coughs> Here we also define d infinity. d infinity of x y equal to max of mod of x i minus y i 
वन लेस इक्वल टू आई लेस इक्वल टू एन सो वी चेक दैट डी इनफिनिटी इज अल्सो ए मेट्रिक ऑन आर टू दि पावर एन सो फार्ष्ट अफ अल इज एक्स आई वाई आई इज ग्रेटर इक्वल टू जिरो फर अल आई सो मैक्स अफ दिस क्वान्टिटी इज अल्सो ग्रेटर इक्वल टू जिरो मैक्स अफ एक्स आई वाई आई वेर आई व्यारिज फ्रम वन टू एन इज ग्रेटर इक्वल टू जिरो दैट इज डी इनफिनिटी अफ एक्स वाई ग्रेटर इक्वल टू जिरो सो हमार और फार्स कंडिशन इज सैटिस्फाइड नेक्स्ट कंडिशन इज लेट डी इनफिनिटी एक्स वाई इक्वल टू जिरो दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट मैक्सिमाम अफ मड अफ एक्स आई माइनस वाई आई वन लेस इक्वल टू आई लेस इक्वल टू एन इक्वल टू जिरो इफ मैक्स अफ दिस अल क्वान्टिटी जिरो सो इट शुड बी अल क्वान्टिटीज मास्ट बी जिरो सो मड अफ वाई आई माइनस एक्स आई माइनस वाई आई इक्वल टू जिरो फर अल आई इक्वल टू वन टू एन सो दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट एक्स आई इक्वल टू वाई आई सो दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट एक्स इक्वल टू वाई कन्भार्सली इफ एक्स इक्वल टू आई देन इच कम्पोनेंट एक्स आई वाई आई आर इक्वल सो दे आर मड इज अल्सो इक्वल टू जिरो सो मैक्स अफ दिस क्वान्टिटी इज जिरो सो डी इनफिनिटी एक्स वाई इक्वल टू जिरो उइ से दैट एक्स इक्वल टू वाई थार्ड कंडिशन इज डी इनफिनिटी एक्स अफ वाई दैट इज इक्वल टू मैक्सिमाम अफ मड अफ एक्स आई माइनस वाई आई वन लेस इक्वल टू आई लेस इक्वल टू एन दैट इज इक्वल टू मैक्सिमाम अफ मड अफ एक्स आई माइनस वाई आई दिस इज सेम एस मड अफ वाई आई माइनस एक्स आई दिस वन लेस इक्वल टू एन सो दिस इज डी इनफिनिटी अफ वाई एक्स नाउ टू शो द ट्राइंगल इन इक्वालिटी टू शो डी इनफिनिटी एक्स वाई दिस इज लेस इक्वल टू डी इनफिनिटी एक्स जेड प्लस डी इनफिनिटी जेड वाई वेर जेड इज एनदार एलिमेंट अफ आर एन जेड इज जेड वन जेड टू नोट कर जेड अफ एन सो उइ हाव मड अफ एक्स आई माइनस वाई आई दिस इज लेस इक्वल टू मड अफ एक्स आई माइनस जेड आई प्लस मड अफ जेड आई माइनस वाई अफ आई फर अल आई इक्वल टू वन टू डट कर एन सो दे आर इफ यू टेक बोथ सैड मैक्सिमाम दिस अल्सो इन इक्वालिटी होल्डस सो टेक मैक्सिमाम अफ दिस उइ गेट मड अफ एक्स आई माइनस वाई आई वन लेस इक्वल टू आई लेस इक्वल टू एन दिस इज लेस इक्वल टू मैक्स अफ मड अफ एक्स आई माइनस अफ जेड आई प्लस मड अफ जेड आई माइनस वाई अफ आई वाई भारिज फ्रम वन टू एन सो दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट मैक्सिमाम अफ एक्स आई माइनस वाई आई वन लेस इक्वल टू आई लेस एन दिस इज लेस इक्वल टू मैक्सिमाम अफ मड अफ एक्स आई माइनस अफ जेड आई आई दैट इज फ्रम एन प्लस मैक्स अफ मड अफ जेड आई माइनस वाई आई आई दैट इज फ्रम वन टू एन सो This implies that d infinity x y that is less equal to d infinity x z plus d infinity z y. So d infinity satisfies the triangle inequality. Hence we say d infinity is a metric on R to the power n. Is a metric on R to the power n. so on the same set r to the power n 
we define two different metric so on the set same set we define two different metric at first t infinity and d n so on the same set we define two different uh, metric next example is let x be any non empty set let x be any non empty set and let d is defined as follows d of x y this is equal to 0 if x equal to y and d of x y equal to 1 if x not equal to y so we check that t satisfies the four properties the first property is trivial from the definition that is d of x y get are equal to 0 obvious from the definition this is obvious from the definition of d <clears throat> and second condition is d of x y equal to 0 if and only if x equal to y this is also from definition we get now we show the symmetric condition that is d of x y equal to d of y x if x is not equal to y this implies that d of x y equal to 1 if x not equal to y then y is also not equal to x so this is implies that d of y x equal to 1 that is equal to x y if x equal to y then by definition we get d of x y equal to 0 if x equal to y then y is also equal to x so d of y x is also 0 that is equal to d of x y next we show the triangle inequality that is d of x y less equal to d x z plus d of z y so first if we take the case x equal to y this implies that d of x y equal to 0 so we can write this as 0 plus 0 this is less equal to d of x z plus d of z y for all z belongs to x case two if x not equal to y and z is element of x then we have two possibilities either z not equal to x or z not equal to y so since if z equal to x and z equal to y then we get so then we get x equal to y this is a contradiction so it must be the case that z not equal to x or z not equal to y let z not equal to x this implies that d of z x equal to 1 this is equal to d of x z so d of x y equal to 1 this implies d of x z 
this is less equal to d of x z plus d of z y as d of z y is always get are equal to zero. So that is we prove that d of x y less equal to d x z plus d z y. So d is a metric on x. D is a metric on x. This metric we call discrete metric or trivial metric. Discrete metric or trivial metric on any non-empty set X. So any non with respect to discrete metric from a metric space. So there are so many examples of metric space. In next class we will discuss all other examples of metric space and how to define new metric space from old one and bounded metric space and also we define open set, closed set, neighborhood of a point. We will discuss in our next class. Okay, thank you.